It's a recurring theme that some fights happen off screen. Sometimes this happens to prevent us, the viewer, from knowing a certain character strength that we will get to know later on, while other times it serves no other purpose than to move forward with the story. Here's my top 10 off screen fights in One Piece 10 Shanks vs. Blackbeard. Although exact events are unknown, Shanks previously admitted to Whitebeard that his facial scar came from a direct attack from Teach. Red Hair Pirates vs. Kid Pirates No direct interaction has been shown between Shanks and Eustace Kid. Sometime during the two-year time skip, as Kid got very involved in many conflicts, he lost his left forearm in battle against the Red Hair Pirates. 9 Kaido vs. Gekko Mariah Kaido once had a rivalry with the former Shichibukai Gekko Mariah. The two of them fought in the New World, and eventually Kaido won after slaughtering Mariah's entire crew. This had an adverse effect on Mariah's consciousness of subordinates and led him to seek revenge against Kaido by building an army of undead soldiers. 8 Kaido vs. Eustace Kid, Scratchman Apu and Basil Hawkins after Law and Luffy's victory over Doflamingo, Kid Hawkins and Apu were relieved that the two were not going after the same Yonko they were targeting. Suddenly, Kaido landed on their base and the three found themselves face to face with him. After their encounter, Kaido badly defeated Eustace Kid and placed him in a cell, while Scratchman Apu and Basil Hawkins became his subordinates. 7 Kaido vs Shanks when Kaido tried to stop Whitebeard from going to Marineford, Shanks interfered and clashed with him in order to allow the other Yonko to rescue Ace. It is not known what happened during their encounter, but Shanks arrived at Marineford unharmed. 6 Akainu vs Aokiji Sakazuki was nominated for the position of Fleet Admiral after Sengoku had retired. Kuzan, however, was against the idea of having him become the new fleet admiral and the two admirals battled each other for the position on Punk Hazard. The battle lasted for 10 days and their respective powers caused Punk Hazard to permanently be frozen on one half and burning on the other. In the end, Sakazuki ended up as the victor of that battle, although both men were seriously wounded. Sakazuki, however, decided to let Kuzan live because they were comrades. 5 Blackbeard Pirates vs Remnant Whitebeard Pirates Led by 1st Division Commander Marco, the remainder of the Whitebeard Pirates sought revenge for the events that led up to and caused the Battle of Marineford. They had brought in their full forces in order to engage the Blackbeard Pirates, who responded in kind. However, the Whitebeard Pirates suffered an overwhelming defeat. After their defeat and failed revenge, the commanders of the Whitebeard Pirates seemingly disappeared, and have not been heard from since. Marco went to Whitebeard's home village and worked as a doctor there. 4 Shiki vs Sengoku and Monkey D. Garp After Gold D. Rogers capture Shiki fought against Garp and Sengoku at Marineford in order to free the Pirate King. 3 Monkey D. Garp vs Rocks Pirates a group named Rox is mentioned by Garp which said that Rox's era came before Rogers. They seem to have been powerful, given their prominence prior to Rogers' time and the fact that Garp could not imagine what the Marines would do if they came back into power. Garp is connected to them in some way, with Hina suggesting that he got the distinction of hero of the Marines from dealing with them. 2 Gold D. Roger vs. Monkey D. Garp As a Marine, Garp attempted to kill Roger several times. Gold D. Roger stated that he and Garp had almost killed each other on numerous occasions. 1. Mahawk vs. Shanks In the past, Shanks and Mahawk sought out each other on many occasions to duel. Their battles were said to echo through the whole Grand Line. I hope Oda will show a flashback of these fights in future. 